Hi, I'm Kathy Meyer from Master Pneumatic. This is our fourth year sponsoring the Fluid Power Action Challenge. It's an effort by the National Fluid Power Association to promote uh, interest in fluid power and other engineering programs and manufacturing degrees. It gives the children an opportunity to solve an engineering problem, gives them an opportunity to work as a team and learn the skills needed to complete a project together. Uh, we've had such positive response. We have a middle school that participates every year and has made this part of their curriculum. And we hope that it really does provide our community with more manufacturers and interest in the fluid power industry. I'd also like to thank all of our sponsors, including Macomb Community College, who uh, puts this on with us every year. And we get volunteers, not only from our distributors and suppliers and customers, but also from our competition. It shows the community really is behind this and supports what we are doing. and I work for the Butcher Educational Center in Warren Consolidated Schools. And we're here today for the Fluid Power Action Challenge with my sixth graders, um, working as a team of mini engineers. And basically what they do, their job is to build a mechanism to complete some tasks. And what they do is they split up all of the components. They each become their own little designers. So they have to design it, create it, prototype, test it, and then write about it. So the portfolio is a huge piece of what they do. And so they come here to the challenge day and they've got to turn in their portfolio for points. They have to work as a team cooperatively and then they have to do the tasks and they have to rebuild their entire machine the way that they've designed it. So each one of them works individually and then they put it together and they become a giant team. So this year is our fourth year doing it and we're hoping to have a lot of success. My name is Dave Redfield and I'm with Ford Cell Machine Products and I've been helping with the Fluid Power Challenge for about four or five years. Yep. It's, it's good to help the pipeline of the young kids moving up in their learning about mechanical systems and that helps our area, our region and our industry. So absolutely, yeah, we'll be plugged in for as long as we possibly can. <laughs> 